hello everyone you're welcome to this youtube channel if this is your first time of coming here kindly hit the subscribe button and also on notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we drop new videos kindly give our videos thumbs up like share and comment and i will surely be there to attend to all the comments as soon as possible thank you for your support always god bless you all right this is the industrial bottle machine now i'm going to be showing us how to thread it and how to run it and some settings on it so this is we have to thread here this one is to run the machine and this is to reel our thread on the reeler which i'll be showing us later now the thread now you pass it through here put this one here then you bring it down here you can see it will enter here through the back and come inside it comes in from here then it goes through this tension you can see the tension from the back then it must pass through under this thing like this before you pass it through this hole when it passes through here it comes out again it goes out then you bring it down this is another tension here it will go around it then come up through this place enter this place come out from here then it goes in through here make sure it enter the space so after that here inside this after that you enter this hole and you pass your thread from the back of the needle to the front not from the front to the back from the back of the needle to the front so that is that about how to thread your button industrial button hole machine you pass it your needle from the back of the needle to the front and this is the so this is the reeler and the short so so you put it inside like this and it comes out here so you, you put, hold it like this then you fit it inside the bobbin section this way to make that sound you drop it there you don't need to bring anything out so when we want to run it it will bring out the thread by itself so let me show us how to reel our thread. All right, to reel the thread now, this thread goes in here. Then it comes out. Then it, it, it passes through here. This hole here. So make sure it goes around the tension. Then you bring it here. It comes down. So after coming down, that is when you now reel it on your wheeler. You can see. Uh, really like this then you hold it like this and put it here put it there then you close it And it's like stopped by itself. So when it's full, it should definitely stop by itself. That's how the ruler works. So let's run the machine. The left feather, you raise your footer. And you push it down. Just make sure you hold the thread like this. Then with your right foot footer. To cut it by itself and trim off the thread. Let's do it again. We can actually make different sizes of uh, buttonhole. In case you want to be working with uh, a bigger button, so to do that, you open up this plate, just use your hammer to tap it a little with the screwdriver, and you open that plate up. So, when you open it, you see that black metal that is inside. Yes, this black metal, you look very closely, you see that there are different numbers on it. Those numbers indicate different sizes of button hole that you can make on your fabrics. You will see that uh, it presently is on half. That's half. That's what I use for the normal T-shirt or 
Piccolo in a small button. So if you want to make a bigger one, probably you want to be working with a, a with coat or trouser, then you have to increase it. So to increase it, you losing that knot. we losing that knot. We use panel number nine. So you losing it up. Make sure that knot is not removed completely. So after losing it, you shift it up. Move it up a little, a little. You can just tap it with that hammer because it's still it's added a little bit. So move it up a little to the number or to the size you would like to do. Move it up a little. I'm still trying to do that. I'm trying to see uh increase the number. Okay. After moving it up a little, you can see it's another number now. Tighten it back. Make sure you do that properly. Tighten it back, and after that, you cover that plate. So after covering the plate, let's run the and let's check the uh, button your sample. <laughs> And the first two we did because we increased the size but because the blade is a smaller blade so i'm going to be using my shim reaper to open it up so just put your pin here so that you not cut through your fabric and just open it up like this now now you have you have your button hole there's a small one and there's a big one so you can also adjust the speed here. You want the machine to run faster, you bring it up. You want to reduce the speed, you bring it down. I think that's also to hide all this place. You can see there's a red mark here. You hold this place. The machine itself has a hoist on and also all those place. This place, this place, this place, this place. Alright. 